Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, May 20th. This is my favorite deck right here, the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. And I have chosen this deck for today as it's my favorite and today is my birthday. So I figured I would choose the deck that I like the best. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. And I like it mostly for the colors, you know, and the artwork. I just, I'm really, I really like it. Um, I was born on May 20th, 1973, on a Sunday afternoon at 1.11 p.m. This is Daily Vibes for Sunday, May 20th. I am Taurus Sun. Capricorn Moon, Virgo Rising, and Gemini Venus. I am also the cusp of Gemini, the day that it switches over Taurus Gemini. Enough about me, let's go about the day. May 20th, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, perhaps. Make sure this is zoomed in. Now, all signs, even though I didn't mention you, doesn't mean you're not here. This will resonate with whoever it's meant to resonate with. Always use your intuition during a reading and see how it resonates with you. Sunday, May 20th. Somebody may be feeling disappointed, sad, left out. You may have some regrets guilty maybe you're feeling guilty about something or you're feeling guilt there is a feeling of sadness with that very first card somebody is sad maybe they feel like they're being played taking it taken advantage of you know you may be thinking that somebody has something up their sleeve You could be dealing with somebody that is a trickster, just saying, the magician card, and you're really unhappy about it. Maybe you know deep down that somebody has something going on, some kind of hidden agenda, and it's causing you some, uh, you know, emotional discontent here. But with the world card, there is a new phase starting. Something is ending, and something new is beginning. Some sort of clarity is coming about. Some kind of truth is coming out. You may be receiving some word, some communication, some news from somebody that pushes you in a new direction. And that could be the case. It feels as though there's one situation where there's no hope. The hope is gone. There's no more hope. Mm-mm. But this, this lack of wish fulfillment is actually a blessing in disguise, okay? Because whatever, whatever has happened or is happening today is causing a completion for the better, you know what I mean? Something is ending for the better. That's what it looks like. You're avoiding a much bigger disaster or a much bigger breakdown if it had stayed the way it was, okay? This is the most practical thing. Whatever's happening is the most practical route to take, you know what I mean? So it feels like there is something that is causing somebody to end something something these are both kind of like ending cards this is kind of like a death card even though it's the four of swords it is i mean it's a rest and recuperation card but in many of the other decks it's like a, a coffin with a person laying on it and this is a completion card so you know there is some sort of completion of a cycle there is a completion of a cycle here That is very, it needed to happen. It was the most practical thing. You know, it was practical. It 
there's some kind of trick, I believe. You're, you, you receive some sort of truth. Somebody has been lying, and the truth is going to come out. That's what's happening here. And it may feel, it may make you feel at a loss because at, you, at one time you thought this was a dream come true. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So it feels as though somebody. has lost their hope in a situation that once was a dream come true. Hmm. Yeah. Whew. So yeah, there's an there's love here. There's love here. Could be, you know, somebody has been through some hurt. They've been through some hurt, some serious hurt. There's been some grief. There's been some grieving. There's been loss, heartache and loss here. Somebody has gone through a period of emotional turmoil, okay? And it feels like now they have come to the terms that there's, there's, there's no hope here. There's, there's no more wish fulfillment. This is the star card reversed. Therefore, it's time for me to let go of this sorrow be practical, be reasonable. And start this new cycle. Somebody is starting a new cycle. They're letting something end for good, for good. And I feel like because they're let, they're letting something end because there's a new there's a new prospect that is more suitable. There's somebody new that is more in tune with you, with who you are. And whoever you were dealing with that led to disaster, that brought upheaval to your life, was not honest. They didn't tell the truth. They didn't have integrity. They lied. And it was a terrible injustice to you. So I feel like the truth is coming out. Whether somebody tells it to you or you finally come to grips with it. The truth is clarity is coming. Today, May 20th. And somebody is letting something end because of the clarity that they receive. So anyway, I feel like today is a day where there is unexpected, there's an unexpected love or unexpected union or an unexpected spark. There's an unexpected connection that allows you to let something end. that wasn't meant to be. You know what I mean? There's a blessing in disguise here. There is. Somebody has given up on a dead end situation. That's what I see. Interesting. I'm going to get a couple more cards because it's my birthday and I feel like it. All right, what else is going on here? That lover's card is Gemini, okay? Um, can, you know, just whatever. Um, there's an unexpected choice in love, and somebody has to make a decision, because the lover's card is a decision, and this one fell out. A decision to go down a new road, to accept this offer from this person that you are better suited for. Whoo! Separation. I'll put one over here. Aha! Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, so like, like I said, somebody is leaving something behind that no longer serves them. 
It wasn't meant to be, even though at one time it felt like it was meant to be. This is the Sunday, May 20th. There's somebody that is better suited. There's a new beginning here with somebody that you've known before. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. There's a past life connection. Amazing. Amazing. So, anyhow, um, May 20th. There's an unexpected choice in love after a separation. That's more practical. Okay, there's a more practical option. With someone you have known before. But somebody needs to, to not do any injustice by holding themselves unaccountable or by, by being unfair. Because a justice card is some reversed as being unaccountable, treating yourself unfairly, or somebody's treating you unfairly, or lies, dishonesty. Somebody has been dishonest. They've lied. They haven't wanted to be held accountable. They haven't been telling the truth. They haven't been treating another person unfairly. Or fairly. Fairly. And now it's time for this cycle to end. So that a new foundation can be built. Anyhow. We're going to get one of these. There's an opportunity for a... Soulmate connection here, as far as I can see. After a separation comes to an end. Okay, and when it really, really comes to an end. When somebody really decides to let go of the sorrow and the suffering. And be practical. Some of people that are watching this won't do that. And so they will continue to suffer. I hate to put that on top of that card, but I'm going to. Listen. Listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. There is going to be some sort of clarification or communication that comes in disguised. Really pay attention today. There's something behind the words that is going to help you to move on towards your soulmate. Somebody you have known before. It's going to help you to let go of this person that wasn't meant to be. Listen. Anyhow, that's what I have for Sunday, May 20th, 2018. Talk to you later.